Hello everyone, Raimia here, and welcome to my playthrough of Super Mario Sunlight Adventure. This is yet another mod made by Super, uh, after I played through uh, Super's previous mod, Super Mario Starlight Adventure, uh, on the channel just recently, though I actually recorded that way back when that mod released. And uh, yeah, as the name of this mod suggests, this is a like kind of like beach, you know, summer kind of mod, which is funny because we're of course in the midst of winter, at least on the northern hemisphere here. But yeah, of course, this is a Nice Mario's Wii mod uh, based off of Neo Wii, like most Nice Mario's Wii mods. And uh, yeah, I suppose let's just get started. We've got some custom menu stuff here with music and recolors and stuff. That's nice. Alright, this looks almost identical to Neo Wii. I'm pretty sure actually that beach style that there is a remake I did maybe? I don't know. Uh, welcome! The Mario Bros land on an unknown island. On this island, they find that the princess is missing once again. Looks like someone is at it again. That's interesting. <laughs> looks like someone is at it again. That's, that's like weird, that, that phrasing. I don't know if that really works with using the word someone instead of Bowser, you know? Like, someone is doing something again. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> uh, oh well. Uh, okay, okay, we've got a split path right away. Of course, we've got the uh, the, the Koopa Atlas uh, near we uh, map system as is to be. Wait, why did it, why did it automatically? Oh, that's interesting. You can't like stop here anymore after you've started. Okay. Uh, anyways, um, okay. So this is Peach's Castle, and I presume that this here is like the normal level to go. So I suppose we'll start out by checking out Peach's Castle. That's interesting. It makes me wonder if maybe originally this wasn't meant to use the newer map system because, like, you know, usually you'd have Peach's Castle there on the vanilla map already as well. And, um, ah, oh well. Also, it looks like the world's smallest representation of uh, the Mushroom King that I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Oh, a connected pipe. I was expecting this to be like a. Okay. Huh. I wonder what this is all about. We've got the, like, sunset theming and everything. It's a very, like, dark sunset, almost like, uh, you know, close to nighttime. And a very out of place door. <laughs> How d am I supposed to get up there? Uh, oh, okay, that answers that. I suppose. What is this all about? Why am I? I, I was expecting this to be a pretty vanilla, like normal mod. Why is this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this feels like some kind of weird, like Kaizo puzzle thing. Why? What is this doing here? Oh, okay. Got the. Uh, <laughs> what? What is this? Mario from Super Mario. Okay, this is just from the original um, uh, Yoshi's house from Near Wii, except now all of the different things have these cool glasses. I'm pretty sure the text is still mostly the same. Yeah, okay. Uh, th that one looks like he he's got like an eye patch or something. What the heck? Oh, okay, that was it, I suppose. Well, that was lovely. Okay, I don't really know what the point of that was, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's just continue on with 1 1 Geyser Golf. Okay, we've got Mario on the thumbnail, that's a bit interesting, and uh, also seems to have that newer Summer Sun style of uh, Water Geyser, that was also in Starlight Adventure. Also, quite a little, like, a bit of a subtle recolor on Mario once again as well. This definitely seems to be kind of like a companion piece to Starlight Adventure almost, like, very, very similar ideas and very similar, like, like decisions made in terms of like the mod's overall structure and vibe, except now it's uh, sunlight instead of starlight. So, uh, okay. Uh, although this mod is quite a bit uh, shorter and smaller than uh, Starlight Adventure is, I believe, or I hope, or else this is going to be a very long video. Yes, yeah, so this looks to be like a um, like a Wii port of a task that I once made for Nice Mario's Wii Deluxe, I believe, maybe? I don't know. It definitely looks interesting. Uh, huh, okay, so yeah, I, I, I still, I'm not a fan of these uh, water guys is the way they look. They look like they're from like, uh, like Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, uh, but whatever. I guess they're better than having nothing. I, I don't know, are they? I'm not sure about that either, honestly. Alright, got a bit of a mixed underwater zone, which is something that Nintendo also does occasionally, so I suppose it's not bad. And uh, hey, we have the, uh, what do you call them, the Shine Sprites from um, uh, Super Mario... Uh, what's it called? Super Mario Sunshine, of course. Um, yeah, that's appropriate for this mod. Okay, got some coin stuff. Interesting. Alright, definitely got some like different actor spawner kind of event activated coin things going on. What do I? There was like a. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, why not? I'm always kind of scared when the when the game just gives you a power block and like it's it's not really like do I trust the level designer to like indicate to me where this is supposed to be used or it, does the level designer expect me to use it right away? This is this is a sign pointing to the right here. 
So I'm just gonna carry it all the way through. There's another sign going to the right, so... Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna ignore that red coin section. Um, okay, here's this, like, a little... I'm gonna throw it right here, I think. If I were a level designer, maybe we could have a star... Uh, no, okay, well, a shine spot, I mean. Uh, damn, I wonder what it was supposed to be used then. Maybe... Maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't for a shine sprite, because there is a pipe here which looks like an entrance pipe. I would be surprised if this bonus room doesn't house a, uh, a shine sprite. Yeah, there it is. Alright, then I'm not really sure what the point of the power block was. I suppose maybe it was just meant to be used right away and the sign was just misleading. And uh, yeah, it was just like some coins that you get from it. I don't know. But there we go. That was the first level. And as far as first levels go, it was fine. I do wonder, oh, why, wait, why was that, was that the Nice Memories DS clear theme? That was interesting. Uh, the, the main music for the level itself was like just vanilla. But yeah, at some point I do wonder like if people really want to make beach levels with the water geysers, why not just make a Nice Memories U level then? <laughs> you know, I guess maybe for the overarching like Koopa Last map system, like having that freedom. Speaking of the Koopa Last map system, the way that the, the, like this just turns into an orange void back here looks kind of strange in my opinion. Anyways, uh, let's try the challenge house, which I hope is edited and not just from the original uh, newer version. So that was the case in um, Starlight Adventure, if I recall correctly, the toad houses were not custom. And I have no idea whether this is from the OE or not. It has been a while, and especially, like, who remembers the specific layout of the, the toad house challenges from the OE? I don't. I wonder if the, the, the Koopa Class map actually makes... Oh, no, it definitely doesn't make sense. Look, here. Yeah, so you see how there's, like... The, like, the, see that, that length there? Okay, now we, we compare that to the length down below here. Like, the height, I mean. It's not, it's not the same. So it doesn't really make, like, <laughs> uh, sense in terms of a 3D... Oh, even here, like, I don't think... Ah, uh, well, whatever. I, I used to, um, actually, if people are interested, um, I used to make Cooper's last maps, these, like, 2D newer Wii maps. It was, like, my introduction to the community. Um, so I, I kind of have, have an eye for, uh, like, figuring that kind of stuff out. And uh, it often looks wrong to me when it doesn't like line up like that, but whatever. All right, so now we have a bit of a desert level going on. Uh, that's definitely um, kind of how like newer summer sun. The uh, the what was that? What um, <laughs> newer sun? Wait, what is that? What? I guess it. I don't know what that is. Like, why does that affect spawn? Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Um, newer summer sun also had um, desert and beach levels, which so that seems to be kind of a tradition for. And these members, we beach or like summer themed mod mods at this point is to have a mixture of different like hot themes, I suppose. This feels like it would be a yeah, okay, that's that's quite nice. I like how like I feel like that's reasonably well indicated by the uh, the structure of the brick blocks there. Speaking of newer Wii, or uh, speaking of newer summer sun, but speaking of okay, what's going on with those pokies? Um, but speaking of newer stuff, this music is also just from newer Wii, um, so that's interesting. Did Starlight Adventure, I feel like Starlight Adventure did have, like, maybe not custom music, but certainly um, music from other games and mods that were used throughout the levels, and this just uses, so far, mostly vanilla or newer Wii music, so that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on with those particles on the pokies, maybe, I, I doubt that's intentional, but I don't know what would cause that, maybe there's like some kind of custom code thing going on with the pokies that makes them do that, I don't know. I suppose the Pokies aren't moving, so maybe that's what's causing that, but then why would... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Alright, this seems to be a simple enough puzzle um, to have the uh, like power block be hidden down below here. See, at least, as far as power block puzzles go, that that's fine, because you can actually see where the, where the Shine Sprite is. Yeah, okay, so these Pokies seem to be going really slow, and some of the other Pokies seem to be, to be completely, like, static. So, maybe that's, like... Like some kind of custom code thing that also somehow influences that weird particle effect that spawns every now and then. I don't know. Uh, okay, that's definitely one of the blue coin or like uh, P switch sections of all time. One thing you always kind of got to avoid when you have a P switch section, section, at least in my opinion, is having just like these like, you know, kind of almost decorative coins um, in the way. Because like if you notice in that section there, um, like there was such like random coins that turned into brick blocks. And I feel like if you have coins in a P block or a P switch section, you should always make sure that they actually like serve a purpose and like are like meant to be turned into break blocks. Because else it's just going to be like confusing and I don't know, I just find it find it strange personally. Interesting choice to have the uh, the death clouds below the screen here. Um yeah. 
I guess that's just there to indicate that to the player that you're not supposed to be jumping down below the screen here. Like, you won't just be saved like you might expect to in the bonus room. So I don't know why, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't see the point of not adding, like, a special exit controller to a section like that. But there we go with the particles again. Or are those even particles? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention is, of course, this level also has a custom tile set, which, uh, yeah, looks fine, I suppose. It has some weird cutoffs, like, right there. Uh, but overall, yeah, looks good. All right, let's see what the next level is all about. Barrel Band Beach. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna be switching back to the beach theme. It makes me wonder why not just have it be more consistent and have the beach theme and like have like a desert section later on. But I suppose the variety isn't something you can scoff at. Um, also interesting uh, here, these waterfalls. I don't think these are from Nier Deluxe themselves. I think these are made by B1 who made them inspired by the Nier Deluxe waterfalls. Uh, but yeah, they definitely look a lot better than the waterfalls from uh, Starlight Adventure and also, of course, Nero Wii, if you remember those. Yeah, those uh, those were quite choppy, and uh, these look a lot more nice and smooth. And of course, you also have Charging Chucks here, uh, though those aren't really Charging Chucks, they're bruises. Uh, but I think that's a pretty like logical model replacement, even if it looks a little bit weird, frozen like that. Okay, we can use the... Oh, okay, okay, that's actually well thought of, I suppose. Definitely one of the most cliche uh, star coins, or not star coins, I suppose, uh, shine sprite setups there with the uh, the bruiser uh, breaking the blocks so you can enter. I mean, not to say that it's, it's bad on its own, it's just like, you know, at some point you wonder, like, why do something that has been done uh, 10 times before already in other mods? But um, th th that doesn't really seem to be a concern of this mod, considering a lot of the stuff so far has been quite, um, quite like, you could say cliche or. Um, you could say traditional, maybe classic. Oh, there was a, uh, oh, speaking of classics, I think there's a pipe here that you can enter with the, the donut block. Um, so that's all right, there we go. Yeah, like so far, there hasn't really been anything in the mod that I've seen that has like blown me away in terms of originality. But you know, I also understand that sometimes you just want to have a mod to play that's like fine, even if it doesn't like really do anything crazy. And uh, I mean, I actually, you know, saying that, I don't think I've seen that particular Bruiser remodel before. I've definitely like thought of it before, and I think I might have also seen it like on its own, but I don't know if I've ever seen it used in mods before. So then again, I also don't play that many Nismeros Wii mods. I just figured it would be logical for me to play this one, considering we did have that Starlight Adventure playthrough uh, last week, and then like, you know, this mod release, so yeah, it would only make sense. That definitely seems like a bit of a, yeah, I don't know how I was supposed to get that red coin there. I guess I could have jumped off the enemy that I killed. Oh yeah, weird feature in Easter as Wii is that you can set the the speed at which the uh, oh another one up, um the speed at which the uh, hucker crabs throw their projectiles, and I, I don't know it's a bit weird in my opinion. I feel like maybe it would be cool if like you had like the hucker crabs be recolored every time they had that, so it's like indicated instead of just being this random thing that's done. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, that didn't actually. Okay, I figured that might like do something, but I don't know if it really did. Like it, it just gets a little section. Oh, that definitely feels like there's something up there. So these uh, paracoopers are kind of aligned. Oh, uh, actually this works. Wait, once again, there's nothing. Is it, am, I, am I just skipping sections? I don't want to, <laughs> whatever. Or is this, I don't know if this is a secret section or, or if this is the, just like the way to go. If so, how am I supposed to get up there? I think maybe there's a switch there to rise the water and, okay, sure. But I like, I like what I did more. <laughs> So actually, maybe dude, going down there is the secret. No, okay, this is a secret. Okay, that that wasn't very clear to me, to be honest. Oh, hey, I've seen this bonus room set up before in uh, Super Mario Saves Christmas, I believe it is. Oh, and suddenly uh, Super Mario Odyssey uh, Forest, so why not? Oh, hello. And that's the main exit. Okay, I figured that might have been a secret exit, considering we got there from the star coin, but I suppose it was just like one of those. Uh, my friends call it a Vime a pipe, where you have the bonus room lead right into a like different pipe that's like the intended route. Um, yeah, well, whatever. Oh, once again here, look, rem remember the remember the <laughs> the the um, Koopa the last map nitpicking I was doing earlier. Look at like okay, so if you compare this height here, and then you just subtract that height, and then you go down here, and you look at that height, that like, that doesn't line up, you know, like the the 3D space that's being emulated by the 2D terrain. It just doesn't make sense. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just something to look out for. And it's not something that's going to bother 99% of people. Um, but it is something that bothers me, to be honest. But uh, whatever. All right, and now, but like a normal, like a, an overall level, Woodland Springway. Oh, no, it's not an overall. It's, uh, of course, it's uh, the forest level. 
A forest without any trees, at least on the on the world map, almost. Oh yeah, it looks like we're, we're keeping that uh, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, what's it called? Uh, Steam Gardens or something? Um, that kind of theme going. At least in terms of the music, the I mean, the, the actual visuals are much more traditional. Were, I do kind of like that, like, dark um, lava glow effect that's uh, kind of here to, you know, kind of look like sunset. Yeah, it definitely has a little bit of a different vibe from something you'd seen in, like, these Okay, there's something down there, and there's a little hole in the, in the spring blocks here. Uh, oh, okay, I, mm, okay. If, if it, was, it was me making the mold, I would, def I would definitely have a thing where there where, like, the camera would actually, like, you know, show that um, if you fell down there, uh, but whatever. And also a pretty traditional bonus room there with the with the bros, the fire bros. So even, even I've done bonus rooms like that, and at least that one had the spring blocks to kind of differentiate it. Yeah, like just having the player run on the on the screen border basically looks a little bit strange in my opinion. Okay, there's an arrow pointing up. Can I? I can't make that jump. Huh. Oh no, wait, there's a spring. Hold on. Alright. So I presume this is for the, the second Shine Sprite slash Star Coin. Oh, buy Prana Plant. What? <laughs> Maybe the Prana was supposed to be on the on the spring. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, look, it's supposed to be on the spring block, but somehow I think I think probably the spring block loaded before the Prana Plant did, so that way uh, the Prana Plant fell through it. That's kind of funny. It's interesting how this level is like, you know, you're kind of like up at the tree canopies, so there's even mountains in the background, but like most of the time there's like ground all over the place. You, know, you think it has more of like an athletic vibe with like more gaps in the ground and stuff but for the most part it's just um it could have just well been a normal forest level basically in fact that makes me wonder if this level is like always intended to be this kind of theme or if it's originally made to be more of a traditional forest level i do like this like kind of setup here with all the spring blocks and the the prom plants on top of them it's kind of cool okay it looks like the first shine sprite or whatever it's just a maybe there's a shell or were there any koopas in that level i don't know if there were so was it really just supposed to get a power up all the way there? Are you kidding me? That's okay. That's really stupid. <laughs> wait, I could try. Maybe there's something in this block. Oh wait, that will do. There we go. All right, never mind. That's actually a pretty decent star coin then. And a good goal ball as well, I think. All right, that was actually a pretty nice level there. Okay, I guess we'll check out the uh, probably underground level first, Wiggler Catacomb. Oh my god, an underground wiggler level in the forest world. I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, look at those uh, poison falls. That's kind of cool. It's like the way they have a little bit of a glow around them. Why do we have this music in this level? That's kind of... I think it's vaguely unfitting in my opinion. And again, honestly, the, um, the Super Mario Odyssey forest music is like... Barely feels like forest music at all. So I suppose it, it doesn't really even fit in the uh, the forest theme in my opinion either. At least not the, the Mario Wii traditional kind of forest theme. But um... So, so like yeah whatever I guess it's, I guess it's fine either way. Oh hey the classic um, uh, invisible block between two coins. Oh okay this is probably uh, a P switch thing. Let's actually get these coins here first. I could just I mean I could just get that I think that brick block without the P switch, but whatever. All right lovely. Oh that's oh god uh, <laughs> that's not a good thing. <laughs> Putting the player right into the the wiggler like that. I don't see the point of not just like putting that wiggler, like either just putting him forward a bit so the player lands on the wiggler or like putting him back or just not having that one wiggler there. I don't know. I do like all of the tiling and stuff in these levels. It's very good with like the, the background rocks and just like the way tiles is in general are used. It's uh, generally very good, I think. The, yeah, it looks very nice. Ooh, auto scroller, okay. I wonder if we're going to be, oh wait, let's go down there. Uh, I wonder if we're going to be like riding a wiggler at any point. Oh yeah, my uh, my wish has been granted. It looks like. Oh, and we're continuing with the auto scroll. That's always pretty interesting having uh, like a bonus room inside an auto scrolling section, because uh, of like having the alignment like always line up is diff pretty difficult. At least, at least if you have like complicated setups and stuff for your auto scroller. That's what I tend to do. So I tend to have my um, star coins be more out in the open in auto scrolling sections. This is weird for here with just how many wigglers there are. It's basically just bouncy floor. Like there's no like real gaps except for like every now and then, which makes it kind of strange, but I suppose it's fine. Okay, so for this, we just have to jump on one of the guys, except no, because that doesn't line up. Wait, uh, no, what? No. Okay, I guess we are actually not getting that one. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know. That was pretty uh, frustrating to line up there. Um, 
I suppose that might work out better for other people though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird transitioning zones from a uh, an underground section to a forest section, and it's just like having the same music, like the music just continues. That feels strange. I think. All right, before checking out that level, I will uh, check out the level up above. Bill Blast Grove. All right, looks like it has a New Super Mario Bros. Two um, forest tile set, and also has the Canon Super Mario Bros. Wii uh, forest tile set. And in general, it looks like we have the, uh, the always amazing uh, autumn uh, jungle theme with the vines and stuff, which um, I've said this in probably many playthroughs, but it just doesn't make any sense to me because it doesn't, like, jungles don't become autumnal in autumn, like in, in fall or anything. They, they always stay the same kind of color. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a jungle, not a forest, like, not just like a, a traditional, like, in Europe or, like, anywhere, uh, like, far from the equator. Because, uh, like, there's, like, jungle vines and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I know it's a pretty weird complaint to have, but it just doesn't make any sense to me, and it feels like just a, a theme that shouldn't exist. And not in, like, a, a freeze flame kind of way. Oh, that's how you're supposed to get up there. I just kind of did that on my own. That's funny. Yeah, there sure are a lot of brick blocks in this mod that just, like, are just there. That don't have, like, any real purpose. Okay, it looks like we have to do a... Why did they... Wait, why did they slow down when they... What? That's weird. Oh, another pipe cannon. This looks kind of strange. I suppose this, is, this does make mechanical sense with the level, considering it does have like bullet bills and stuff. <laughs> Why is that shine sprite? It's just like, like you know, like halfway above the screen. Oh wait, I can go down there, can't I? Oh, I don't think I can get in there. I hope there's just some coins there and not like some kind of massive. Oh. That's weird. Um, some kind of like massive secret. Uh, I guess I'll wait for the. Actually, let's kill the wiggler. Oh, uh, didn't think that through. And then, okay, there's a power block here. Oh wait, was that just to kill the enemy? Oh no, okay, it wasn't. Okay, good. <laughs> I would have been kind of frustrated if uh, if I would have like killed all the enemies to get the power block that was just there to kill all the enemies, you know. Definitely some strange styling in that section there as well. In general, like putting like these like corner bits in the ground like that. I don't know if uh, if I'm a fan of that. And look at all these useless brick blocks. They're just kind of here. I got some more 10 coin blocks, but they're just like, you know, just give me a power up or don't don't, don't waste my time. I do like the uniqueness of having this like forest level, especially this autumn forest levels, um, like focused on bullet bills. That's not a mechanic like theme combination that I see all that much. And also using all the different types of little bills and the kind of like going from the standard ones to like the Banzai bills and the, the homing uh, bills um, definitely feels quite good. Okay, this looks like a star run section, which is interesting because we just had a star thing in like the... Oh, okay, I, I thought that would go on there. Um, we just had a star thing in like the previous level or the level before that. All right, there we go. We also seem to have the, uh, what's that, like the Super Mario 64 DS star theme, or maybe just the original Super Mario 64 theme. That's weird. Alright, and now on to this level, which is Bone Ride Isle. I don't think Bone Ride is a word, and that's a, that's a major nitpick I have with, uh, I also had a lot of that with, um, uh, what's it called, a uh, Starlight Adventure, uh, which is just like making up words that don't exist for level names. Okay, we got the, uh, what's this, uh, the water park music from Mario Kart 8. That's interesting, though it seems to be a remix. That's kind of neat. Also, very str I don't even know what to call this theme. It's like, bone beach with like, I guess like a very high up beach background, but like with like weird red sky. It's definitely cool, I suppose. And in general, having like this kind of bone focused beach level is not something you see every day. Yeah, makes sense that this would be a, uh, a Spine Ghost level. Oh, get out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that almost made me miss the, the shine. And the micro... What are those called again? I guess like micro bone goombas. That's uh, not something you see every day. It's weird because are there any normal bone goombas in this level? I think just, there's just dry bones on there. So, whatever. Also, you figure they'd have um, the jumping GP be the jumping fish bones from, uh, I think, Nero Wii's final castle has those. I don't know why that wasn't done. That feels a little bit like a, a missed opportunity. What? Oh, I was supposed to. Okay, I, for some reason I was, I was expecting that to be a uh, special exit controller down there, but it was just a, um, like, you have to, like, hug the ceiling, I suppose. Did I really get the midway? Oh, thank God. Oh, I got, I got the midway where I, I spawned half a block off the ground. That's cool. 
Yeah, because you can't see the ceiling here, I figured, like, you have to go down all the way. Uh, usually, if you have one of these kinds of sections, I feel like you're, you know, you'll, you'll actually be able to see the ceiling. What is this? What? <laughs> okay, it's a... Okay, that, that's an interesting combination of backgrounds there. Okay, uh, 2-1, okay, interesting. I thought this was a one world mod, I guess it might be a little bit longer than that. Alright, and as can probably be expected, the second half is a spine coaster section. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's, that's just, oh, wait, uh... Okay, that's really stupid, I think, because, like, I mean, am I just supposed to kill myself now? I mean, I can maybe just barely make that jump if I time it right with a cheap cheat. Uh, no, there's no cheap cheat. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess there's a midway right before that. Yeah, so there's, there's two things I really don't like about that. One, it's like having coins indicate something that the player shouldn't do to get the star coin. I feel like coins should always be the player's friends and, like, indicate, like, the thing to do to get the star coin, if there is a star coin. And second, of course, it's very easy to just get stuck like I did there, where like you're, you're, you're just having platforms in the way and having the player be able to stand on the platform permanently while actually having to move on or else they'll get stuck. It's just it's just something I, I just don't like, honestly. I, I think it's just bad level design. I think yeah, spine goes to with cheap cheap though. That's definitely pretty cool, even though so far they haven't really done anything. See, I don't know where to go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, like, for example, there you had, like, the signs and all the coins and stuff all pointing up, but then also, like, it was, like, coins down, so it's just, like, confusing and just, ah, whatever. This is a cool little, uh, gold pole challenge. There we go. Let's move on to the weird purple tree level, it looks like. Burn Blaze Woods. Why are the trees purple? What? Oh, yeah, no, the trees are just purple, all right. Why is my question. Uh... What does that remind me of? Um, I guess Nismaro's DS, I think, has purple trees, right? That's... I, why? It looks so weird in Nismaro's Wii. Especially with the, uh, the Nismaro Studio tiles that here also recolored to match. It's just, like, very cursed, in my opinion. Oh, by Fire, bro. This definitely seems to be inspired by um, that one uh, fire level from Nero Falling Leaf. It uses the same music and the same mechanic and the same, like, kind of background element as well. Um, it does make me wonder, like, what's the point of making such a level? I mean, maybe maybe there will be a uh, a twist on the idea that will, like, make it worthwhile, because otherwise you're just, like, basically remaking an already existing level, you know? Oh, man, the fire bros in this level are really uh, suicidal. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Oh, that's it. Oh, I figured there would be, like, like a whole section after that with, like, a, a star run, but... That's like the third star run in the past four or five levels. That's weird. So far, I don't really, I don't really know if this level has justified its own existence because it just feels like fire stuff, you know? Like there's no real unique twist on the idea. That's a big old uh, jump arc there. More fire bros. Wow. These kind of look like uh, layer zero sections here, but they're not because you could see the uh, the fire bros kind of clipping into them. Uh oh, just random pipe. Okay, cool. What? Oh. Okay, that makes more- but then, like, why not just- okay, whatever. That's kind of a cool effect, though, with, like, the way the fire kind of distorts. That looks nice. I do just want to, like, you know, you could have also just had, like, you know, the fire in that section is pointless, because you could also have just had, like, a pit, you know? Or, or spikes, for that matter. So, um, I mean, I suppose with an ice flower, like I had, I could have also, like, distinguished all of the- or extinguished, not distinguished, uh, all of the fire. And uh, go on around it that way. There's a sign pointing down. We missed the. Oh, okay. We missed the third shine. I mean, unless I mean the sign was pointing down. It always makes you want to check the like the pit down there and see if you can jump into it. But I'm not going to go that far. Okay. And what about the next level? This seems to be maybe a pumpkin boneyard styled one. Falling leaves. That's a very uh, inspired level name. <laughs> Yeah, this, is, this definitely seems to be uh, Pumpkin Boneyard inspired, or just straight up Pumpkin Boneyard, basically. Oh hey, it's the hammer suit with a different model than I'm used to, that's interesting. Is this style set? I think this style set is actually the version from, uh, from like, I don't know, Return to Pumpkin Boneyard or something? It like looks slightly, I think, yeah, I think this might be like my version for some reason. I don't know, what's the point of porting that if you're, like it looks so similar that I don't think, think most people even notice. So it does have like the holes in the ground, which I don't think I made those, though I don't remember honestly. Right, so once again, remember how in the previous level I was trying to look for like what makes this level worth existing if it's just going to be a rehash of a theme already seen in a newer mod? 
Um, I guess I guess you could say the same thing about this level and like the original Pumpkin Boneyard levels because so far it just seems to be more of the same. Uh, can I just like soft lock? I already got the midway, so I'm I'm fine experimenting. Oh no, okay, there's a, there's a little semi slot there. Good. This is interesting. Uh oh, like that I suppose. All right. And then what? Oh, you have to. Oh, what? Oh, this is exactly like um. I feel. I think is it. Oh, I forget this. Uh, there's a section exactly like this. I think it's in. Oh yeah, I think it's in the airship of near we uh one dash like like the, the near we one dash airship, or it's not even an airship. It's just a ship, I suppose. It has a, it has a bonus room like almost exactly like this, except with you know airship crates instead of the pumpkins, though they are functionally the same object. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm sorry for being so negative because, like, if, as far as a lot of the aspects go of this mod, it's very like you know acceptable. It's very and the tiling is generally nice. I think the tile systems themselves also look fine, and like the combinations with the backgrounds and stuff, except for maybe those purple trees in the last level. Um, but for the most part, it's just like you know, what's the point of having this like mod if most of the levels so far have just basically been rehashes of themes that have already been done by ten other mods in the past, most of which are inspired by Neo Wii. Or falling leaf in in the case of this level, I suppose. Um, like I don't know, I just don't see the point. I guess I guess just for having something to play, like another mod, you know, it's it's fine if it's the same as every, as every other mod, because it's um, you know, at least it's different this time. At least it's a different mod. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems weird. Can I? What's the point of? Oh, I figured there's like a cool little puzzle here because I could go down here, but I guess not. And you know, I guess it does have the moving platforms with the crates, though. That's that doesn't. It's not that exciting to be honest. Oh, now the sky is blue. Interesting. All right, once again, missing a shine. A rip, I guess. Okay, and that looks like that's it for that world. Why? Wait, this sky here is nighttime. I hadn't even noticed that yet. Volcanic Shores, uh, which is the level name of 2-1. And world 2 is Sundown, Sundown Volcano. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we've gone from uh, sunset to nighttime, which is weird because this level, the, the mod is called the Super Mario Sunshine Adventure. So, uh, that's strange. What is this? Okay, it's like Lava Beach. It's funny, I would have said I've never seen a Lava Beach before um, if I hadn't uh, played through the level design contest levels in a previous video. Because that also had a Lava Beach level made by Tech Muse. Interesting recolor of the beach sand as well to be more red. It looks a little strange, I think. Uh, I don't know if that's just supposed to be like Lava Glow or if that's like supposed to be like, like actually be a different color, you know? I think we might have missed the first shine because we're right below the midway and we haven't gotten any yet. Oh yeah, see that is the second shine. Oh yeah, these are definitely a mechanic I wish uh, was in Nice Mario It's one of the few like major platform mechanics that aren't um, in Nice Mario Um And that's a bit of a shame because I think you could probably make some interesting levels with them. But so far they've only shown up like halfway through the level which is kind of strange. This level features a lot of enemies, like there's Koopas, Dry Bones, Fire Bros, and they're just all over the place. Yeah, I don't know if I really buy into the idea of this this sky here being like a nighttime sky. It looks a little bit too, like, blue, or like a little bit too, I don't know, just a bit strange in my opinion. Once again, just like in Super Mario Starlight Adventure, like, the, it's a nighttime sky without any stars. Uh, which is, yeah, like even though in, in real life, of course, you don't tend to see that many stars in the real night sky, at least if it's like a, 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 a foggy night, I suppose. Um, still, I feel like usually in games and cartoon stuff, you tend to see like stars there to indicate that it's supposed to be nighttime. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think this might be the final level of the mod, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, Terminal Fortress. All right. Using the same kind of castle tile set seen in uh, Starlight Adventure, I believe. Oh, that's an interesting... That's kind of cool, actually. Um, yeah, with like the kind of extended uh, castle tile set. Also, wait, is this the New Super Mario 2 castle theme? Yes, because of those bars. That's <laughs> weird. Why would anyone want to have the bars? I guess... I don't know. I guess some people are a fan of the bars. Oh, that's a huge zoom. Okay. Interesting theme. Oh wait, that's the exit pipe up there. I didn't realize. Uh, oh, I think I'm screwed. Can I go back into the green pipe? There's no way. Oh wait, I, oh wait, what? Wait, what's the point of the yellow? What? I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't understand what the, what the point of the pipe up there was. I thought that was the way to go when I was like, you know, kind of locked in there. But never mind. This one falls really quickly, okay. Also, welcome to the world's tiniest fire bar. 
One thing I just totally don't get is this whole like these like little chunks in the wall with like the background rocks behind them and stuff. That just looks really strange in my opinion. But uh, okay, let's see what the final boss is going to be. Or not. Wait, what? Okay, what's this? Oh, okay. Right, I think there were switch blocks to the left of the um, like world map at the start, maybe. Okay. Right. Yeah, so right here, there's some switch blocks, which is just like Nero Falling Leaf, actually. Where is this going to lead? Oh, okay. B-1, the lava, lava Lift Crater. Okay, this is the bonus island also. What? That looks uh, weird. <laughs> Why? Is this the final level? I don't, I don't even know. I'm very confused by this mod so far. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, so far it's pretty standard uh, underground lava stuff, I suppose. Yeah, okay, so these ledges, I don't, why, why are they like this, what? These are supposed to be used with background rocks, they look really strange like this, what? Like, is, is Mario leaning up against the, uh, the, the lava falls? Like, here, here, he's just like, he's just leaning up against the sky, what? <laughs> that's, that's very strange. I really hope this isn't the final level of the mod, because this is the least exciting final level ever. I guess I get this with a wall, oh god, uh, these do respawn, don't they? Uh, wait, they don't? No way. What? What? Wait, what am I supposed to do? What? What? <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know why. Do they just not respawn? Really? Normal donut blocks respawn? What? That's such a crazy... What? Okay. Oh, we have to go back? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I thought I was dead. Oh, I, I am dead. Okay, cool. How are you supposed to... What? <laughs> You know, I think there's a reason this mechanic didn't get, like, brought back in uh, New Spirals 2 or New Spirals U. Or at least I don't think it's in New Spirals 2. It's definitely not in New Spirals U. Which is that it's just super boring and just, <laughs> I don't like it. Why would you base your final level, or at least I hope this is the final level, I'm not gonna lie. Um, why would you base your final level off of this mechanic of all things? Uh, okay. What? Why? No! <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Okay, I hope that's it. Please. Oh, Kamek. Okay, hello, Kamek. Green Kamek. Oh my god. It's Link. <laughs> that was exciting. Uh, I hope that's the end of the mod. Alright, I'm gonna say that's the end of the mod. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the mod, there will be a download link to it uh, in the description, or a link to the trailer, at least. And uh, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like and all that stuff. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.